So Black China, aka Angela White, is taking the Kardashians and the Jenners to court. She is suing Kris Jenner, Kylie Jenner, Kim Kardashian, Chloe, and Courtney. She's suing them because her 2017 show Rob in China was canceled, and she blames them because they started rumors to tarnish her reputation and ultimately cancel the show. Yeah, I know. I'm saying you gotta choose one. You're not gonna help out. I'm about to. Can you just see? I'm about to go I'm down. Saying, I'm saying like. I didn't see that falling. Black China is suing for $40 million in damages, and it's not looking pretty. And it looks like this trial is going to go on for some time. And we just had day one. Day two will be today. So let's go ahead and talk about what's been going on in the courtroom. So there can't be any cameras in the courtroom. And honestly, it looks like the courtroom illustrator is a fan of Black China's because her picture is pretty good compared to the Kardashians. It looks like she's wearing a gray suit. Um, they even drew the nails. It looks like Black China to me. But when you look at the Kardashians, it's kind of scary. Like, hold up. Hold up, guys. <gasps> oh, no. Okay, I need, to, I need to go away from the scene. Like, look. Okay, so we've got, starting from this side, we've got Chloe who actually probably looks the cutest in the drawing. Then we've got Kim, who looks literally, th like, frightening. Like, I would be pissed if I was Kim. <gasps> Wicked Witch from the West energy. And then we've got Kylie, who looks like, like, like it looks like, uh, I just don't like these courtroom drawings. Like, Chloe looks cute. Kylie looks like she's got a lot of filler in the face just here. I don't know if they just drew her that way. And then Chris has her mask on, which was probably... For the best and you know she's um a little bit older so she wanted to make sure she's protected from any viruses your honor we have a bias in the courtroom i mean look at these drawings because obviously they are team black china with how they did the kardashians and their lawyer hello sir so let's talk about what went down in court because they have been choosing a jury because they are having a jury trial which is huge because that means they're going to have to pretty much publicly state everything that's gone down and allow a group of random people to decide their fate, which is something I don't feel like the Kardashians really love. Like, they don't like when other people have the power in a situation. And in this case, the jury has the power. It looks like this case is stemming from a $100 million lawsuit. But from what I've read, Black China is seeking out $40 million in damages. I'm not entirely sure if she has other like counts that she's asking more money for. But her show Rob in China was an absolute mess, guys. I mean, whew, if you have not seen my previous video on it, definitely go and check it out because this reality TV show, I mean, I understand why it was canceled because like they obviously weren't meant for each other. And it almost makes me think that Black China was just trying to get with Rob in spite of Kylie having Tyga and that entire love triangle square trapezoid black china and rob do have a daughter together named dream who is now five years old they started dating in 2016 they split in 2017 they really weren't together that long and as i've mentioned black china's lawsuit was filed in 2017 claiming that e the streaming service that aired her show now canceled the reality show and wouldn't have canceled if the kardashians and jenners didn't make fake allegations about her so this is what they say when you like when you get into a lawsuit and they're like, oh, you know, you're gonna have to wait like five years until anything actually happens. That's exactly what happened here. Like she literally waited five years until it actually went to court. Black China's attorney released a statement last week. Although Kris Jenner was the ringleader, all three daughters had played a role in getting Black China's show canceled, which really financially benefited them. Mm, interesting. The Kardashians and the Jenners financially benefited from getting the show canceled and they knew they did not have the legal right to cancel china's show all four defendants carried out their illegal activity in secret and repeatedly lied to china's face so they would say you know we didn't say anything we didn't talk to the executives while they're literally texting them on the side and it's interesting to me that the kardashians did appear in court because i remember watching like the e special or something and it sounded like they 
like we're gonna like not even show up like just have their attorneys go and represent them but they showed up in person and honestly i can't imagine kimberly like losing this like she's gonna do everything in her power i mean look at her face there she is not letting black china win she did not put on her pretty face for this for this uh court hearing during the process of trying to gather a jury china's attorney asked potential jurors how they felt about the plaintiff and defendants as well as their thoughts on the reality tv show because typically you don't want people who know who we're talking about typically you don't want a jury filled of people who are keeping up with the kardashian fans because they may choose the Kardashian side and you don't want people who absolutely hate the Kardashians because they might just choose Black China's side in spite of them. One man said anything that has to do with their names is just a big no for me. I don't think reality TV is good for society. Another said I sincerely hope none of these people get any wealthier because of this. <gasps> Ooh, they already don't like the Kardashians. One woman said her teenage daughter tried to watch the show when it first came on but she put a stop to it. Shoot, they are just grilling the Kardashians. I don't think they were the best role models, she said. I wouldn't let her watch anything involving them. And it looks like jury selection is going to continue today. One article I found claimed that one of these jury members brought up Kim Kardashian's uh, adult tape. So it looks like in this case, the Kardashian Jenner attorney asked a group of potential jurors what they thought about the show, what are their feelings. One potential juror, a man who appeared to be in his 50s or 60s, claimed that he never watched Keeping Up with the Kardashians, but noted, I have watched Kim's adult tape, and I don't think I can be impartial on this case. <sighs> Supposedly this, oh my gosh, the response elicited a roar of laughter from other potential jurors sitting in the audience. After that remark, Chloe was seen fixing Kim's long, dark hair as if to comfort her sister. Aw, so Kim was bothered by this, and Chloe was there, you know, petting her hair and like, you know, I'm sorry. Cause everyone's laughing in here. Like I haven't seen the show, but I've seen the tape. <laughs> it's like the, what's that Miranda Cosgrove um, clip? Like she's like, ah, I, I do cuss a little. Probably. Chris then shook her head after the same man reiterated to the judge that it would be difficult for him to serve as juror because he would be replaying that adult tape over and over in his head. That is just, that's tough. He's not going easy on Kim, huh? She must be feeling like crap in that moment. At this point, Kim kept her gaze towards the front of the courtroom. Chloe looked visibly annoyed by the comments and carried that same facial expression with her. It looks like Chloe, Kim, Chris, and Kylie were all in the first row. And it looks like China's mother, Tokyo Choni, who's an interesting broad, and no, I'm just kidding, an interesting woman. She she's crazy she's cra she's actually kind of crazy okay she was there as well i'm surprised she didn't start <laughs> throwing a fit as of monday two groups of potential jurors totaling 76 people have been asked questions to determine if they can be unbiased in this trial oh here's some clarity on the damages so she's seeking 40 million dollars for loss of earning damages and more than 60 million in loss of future earning Capacity damages. So $100 million. Wow. If you guys want updates on this trial, comment below and I'll be happy to do so. I've also been thinking about talking about the Amber Heard and the Johnny Depp situation, but I just like, so I've talked about it before on my channel and I know like the, the beginning of the story. I'm just scared I'm not gonna be able to like catch up all the way. So if you have any great resources to help me like catch up to speed with everything, please reach out to me. Literally, literally the trial is going on in my hometown court so like the court that i like went to and stuff and one that my mom is actually going to this next week for some other bs she's literally going to be in the same courtroom as johnny depp and amber heard but let's go ahead and read this letter together hey sloan i just want to say thank you for making amazing entertaining and insightful videos as a kid growing up watching nickelodeon in the 90s and early 2000s i was horrified to discover the truth to say thank you for your awesome content i want to give you this Ly lithophane it's a 3d printed image it doesn't look like much in the dark but hold it up to light and you can see the full picture there's also a little stand that you can keep it on your desk or put it in a window seal um you started an etsy store and it's called the bearded shrimp don't ask long story i'll list that below venturing out to do pet portraits Ooh, one of bunny you're also a fellow YouTuber. That's so sweet. And Jelly, jelly Smacker? You're on Jelly Smack? I will list everything below. That is so cute. I love the 
um, leopard gecko talk and the bearded shrimp, a lot of animal references. And let's go ahead and see what they sent me. I'm not entirely sure what this is. It's some type of like, you hold it up to the light and you can see something, I guess. Oh, I love the bearded shrimp. Like the branding is super cute. And, oh, wait, what? Oh, you guys can't even see what's going on here. Oh my gosh. When you hold it against the light, it's like a literal, I'm lagging. It's a picture of Bunny and I. I wonder if I could do it like reverse way. What if we do like a little bit of, okay. You guys can't really tell still, but like, maybe you can see there. See, it's a picture of me and my dog. What the heck? This is so cool. Thank you so much. Go and check out their shop below and I'll see you guys. Ooh, I'm not good at this lighting. I'll see you guys in a new video soon. Bye guys.